Hello guys, we are going to continue with the final video for the alcohol. We are going to continue with the chemical reactions of alcohol, which is dehydration of alcohol. So most of the alcohol undergoes dehydration or losing a water molecule to form an alkene when heated with concentrated sulfuric acid or aluminum oxide at 350 degrees Celsius. So this is the general equation for the reaction where alcohol and water here is removed as a side product and you form an unsaturated C double bond C. So the same reaction can be observed if you use aluminum oxide as your catalyst. Now this reaction is elimination and it favor at a higher temperature. So dehydration is carried out by adding concentrated sulfuric acid which acts as a bronze lowry acid or aluminum oxide which can also act as a Lewis acid as a catalyst in here. However, the rate of dehydration of alcohol increased from primary to secondary to L tertiary alcohol. In another word, tertiary alcohol is the most preferable to be uh, dehydrated. Second rule is elimination of water follows Seizef rule where elimination of the hydrogen and what uh, elimination of water yield better alkane with more substituent group. Or alternative way to define a CZF rule is hydrogen is preferably to be eliminated from a carbon with less hydrogens. So depending on the classification of alcohol, the number of alkene formed varied from the reactions. Now if it is a primary alcohol, so primary alcohol usually will yield only one alkene product. So for example, if you have butan 1O, so one of the OH and the H is removed from here to so integrate with concentrated sulfuric acid, so you form but one in. However, if you form butan 2 O, so butan 2 O have two ways to be removed. Either you remove from here between C1 and C2, or there is also an alternative way where you can remove from C2 and C3. So, re removal of C2 and C3, hydrogen from C3 and OH from C2 is more favorable because this carbon has less hydrogen, while this carbon has more hydrogen. So, in, in order to the favorable of the rules for Seizef rule, uh, hydrogen, the third carbon hydrogen is much readily to be removed. Therefore, you form BUT2 in as the major product, BUT1 in as the minor product. And finally, for tertiary alcohol, so there are three ways of how to remove. Either the water is removed in here, so if the water is removed from the secondary alcohol, you form a secondary alkene in here. Second way of removing the water, so water can be removed from here, we are removing for tertiary carbon, so when H2O is removed, so you form a double bond in here. And last but not least, if you were to remove from here and here, so you form a double bonds in here where this is actually the least product so in here it is the most stable product because this carbon contain only one hydrogen this carbon contain two hydrogen and this carbon contain three hydrogen so which is the reason why it gives three different alcoholic products in here so that is all for the dehydration of alcohol the last reactions that we are going to see here is the halogenation of alcohol so hydroxyl group is such a poor living group okay, that a common theme of this reaction will be converse to the hydroxyl group to a group that can depart as a weak base. So this process is begin by reacting alcohol oxygen as a base or nucleophile after which the modified oxygen group undergoes substitution. So for chlorination substitution, the most suitable reagents are phosphoryl pentachloride PCl5 or thionyl tetrachloride PCl SOCl2. There is also another reagent called as a Lucas reagent, where it is actually a mixture of sulfuric acid cat uh, not uh, catalyzed by zinc chloride. Substitute ROH to become RCL. So below shows the general equation for the reactions of the three reagents that we mentioned just now. So not from two of the reactions, PCL5 and SOCl2, a white film is released as a side product of the reactions. As for the bromination substitution of alcohol, the most common reagent used here is phosphorus tripromide, according to the equations. So in here, we can see three different reactions of the halogenation of the alcohol that I've specially prepared for you all in order to make you understand. So there you go, all the chemical reactions of alcohol. Now that's not it. We are also going to learn how to distinguish between alcohol. So now, here are a series of chemical tests that you can use for alcohol. 
So how do you distinguish alcohol from other functioning group? So your reagent in here is you can use a Lucas reagent. So for Lucas reagent, a cloudy solution is formed by alcohol but not for other functioning group. And the equation can be written as here. Second reactions is the reactions between how do you distinguish primary secondary alcohol from a tertiary alcohol. Either you can use acidified potassium manganate or you can also use acidified potassium dichromate. For primary and secondary alcohol, it will be oxidized to become carboxylic acid and ketone respectively, but for a tertiary alcohol, it cannot undergo the reactions. So this is a major test to distinguish between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. And how do you pre uh, how do you identify between between some of the alkane two O in here? Now there is a special test which we call as an iodoform test to test for its presence. Now the reagent used for iodoform test is iodine solution in sodium hydroxide under reflux. So what we observe. At first, the brown color of the iodine will decolorize and at the end you form yellow crystal precipitate when added to a group that contain methyl alcohol. So this is the key to have a positive test to iodoform test. So the general equation can be given below. So you have R CH CH3OH when we add with iodine in alkaline, we form COO minus. So this one is what I like always like to call as a golden triangle. So this golden triangle is important to give a positive test to this one. So as a result, any alkan 2 o will give a positive test and also ethanol can also give a positive test to iodoform test because they have the presence of methyl alcohol groups. So that is all for the chemical reactions of the uh, uh, alcohol. Next, we are going to have a look at the special chemical properties of phenols. So compound has a hydroxyl group directly attached to the benzene ring is called as phenol. So phenol is a specific name for hydroxy benzene, or general name of the formula or family of compound derived from hydroxy benzene. Example, you have phenols and 4 hydroxy phenol. So phenol can be prepared in laboratory using few methods. The first method is the hydrochloric acid, a uh, hydrolysis of chlorobenzene, which is the least preferable under high temperature and high pressure. Chlorobenzene are able to hydrolyze to first form a sodium phenoxide because you added uh, alkaline solutions and to, acid, and to form phenol, you acidify this salt to form a phenol. So this method is the least preferable because you require high temperature and high pressures to undergo these reactions. The second reaction is a more preferable where you use cumin hydrogen peroxide. So uh, this process illustrates the industrial aspects. It is a method for converting two relatively inexpensive organic compounds to a two more valuable organic product, which is phenol and propanol. The only substance, other substance consumed in this process is oxygen. So this is one of the most worldwide used to synthesize phenol. And the process goes like this. At first, you will first react with a propene catalyzed by phosphoric acid at 170 degrees Celsius and you form cumin. The reaction further continues when you react with oxygen underheated to form a cumin peroxide and finally hydrolyzed by using sulfuric acid to form phenol plus propanol. So this is the most popular ways to prepare actually the phenol. In laboratory, phenol can be prepared from the hydrolysis of the benzene the adonium salt. So effervescence can take place where at first Anything react with NaNO2 in HCl under cold condition, and now you form a benzene diazonium chloride. Benzene diazonium chloride will hydrolyze in water under 70 degrees Celsius to form phenol, and nitrogen and hydrogen is released as a side product. So these are the three general ways of how we prepare phenol. So let's have a look at chemical reactions of phenol. So the OH ring inside the phenol is ring activate, so it activates the ring and causes the benzene to become more reactive. As a result, the following phenomenon take place. Halogenation of phenol. So when we react with bromine water, so brown color of bromine water decolorize and form a white precipitate of 246-tribromophenol according to the equations in here. So this is one of the most basic tests to distinguish phenol and also alkyl alcohol. Another reaction is nitration of the phenol when you use concentrated nitric acid. So it will form a yellow crystal which is used as a dye or even an explosive.
and last but not least, a little bit industrial applications of alcohol. So alcohol has a long history to serve use why we can use as an alcoholic beverage, antifreeze and also antiseptic. So in here that is all for my um, chapter 5 video. So be sure that you catch for the next video in the next few days. Yeah? Okay, so that's all for tonight. Thank you.